ready to make some brand new friends on Live in the Monkey House? Because I got a question for all the longtime listeners, first time callers. That's the question. Who are you? Who, 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 who? It's the longtime listener, first time caller show here on Kids Place Live, where we are going to make some brand new friends. And let's bring another brand new longtime listener, first time caller into the conversation. Give it up, me monkey nuts, please, for Ellie. Greetings, Ellie. How are you? Good. Great. I'm so happy to meet you. Welcome to the Monkey House. Now, we got to fact check this. we got to run this by our accounting team at Ernst & Young, Ellie. Are you a longtime listener? Yeah. Okay, that checks out. Uh, how long have you been listening? Just curious. One year. Okay, that, that uh, year can feel like a very long time. Uh, like this past year. Very long year. Uh, I think that counts, Ellie. And is this your first time calling in? Yes. Have you tried before, or is this your first attempt? I have tried many times. I see. And, uh, what, the phone line was jammed up, or, like, did we hang up on you? What happened? Um, I just couldn't get... I tried to do it, but you guys weren't live, so I couldn't. Oh, oh! Yeah, that's tough. So was it like three in the morning or something like that? You like you woke up in the middle of the night. And you're like, I gotta talk to somebody. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, you have qualified as a longtime listener, first time caller, Ellie, and that means after we're done talking, you get to go straight to your kitchen and pick out a spatula that your family already owns. Uh, but now it's yours. Isn't that great, Ellie? Yeah. Do you have a spatula in mind already? Like, is there one that you sort of have your heart set on? Yes. Which one is it? Describe it for us. Um, it's blue, and you make pancakes with it. Oh, my gosh. Audience, do you hear that? Ellie picked a blue pancake spatula. That's a great choice. Great. Oh, I'm sure you're going to be very happy together. So, Ellie, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you like to do for fun, aside from coveting blue pancake spatulas? Uh, um, I like to go swimming. I oh. play with my friend Sam and Ashley. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Uh, you say bike riding with your friend Sam and Ashley? No, I said playing with my friend Sam oh. and Ashley. Oh, playing with your friend Sam and Ashley. Are they with you right now, Ellie? No, they are not. They're coming home from school. Uh, in case they're listening right now, do you want to give them a little shout out or anything you'd like to say to them, just in the off chance they might be listening? Yeah. Okay, what do you Hi. want to say? Oh, nice. Very good. Very cordial. You're really good at uh, connecting with friends, Ellie. Okay, so you're a swimmer. Tell us about your swimming. What, what do you do uh, for fun? Do you have a favorite swimming stroke, or are you a racer? Are you a competitive swimmer? Are you one of those swimming dancers where you and a team do, like, elaborate dance choreography in the pool? How do you swim, Ellie? I do elaborate dance. I do. No! No! You do? Yes, I do. So you're like a synchronized swimmer? Is that what you call yourself? Yes. Oh my gosh, I've never met a synchronized swimmer before. I'm so happy you called. Okay, so uh, tell us what goes into a good synchronized swimming routine. Like, how do you uh, how do you prepare for that? What are you thinking about when you're in the pool? Look, tell us everything, Ellie. So you have to be able to listen, and you have to be able to be able to swim really good. You have to know how to stay above the water, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the staying above the water part, that's kind of true for everyone who goes swimming, right? That's sort of a core, <laughs> that's a core skill. <laughs> you really want to yeah. come up for air quite a bit. Um, okay, and how many other people do you do synchronized swimming with? Are there, are like, uh, is it a team? How many people are about, I think, about 10, maybe 11 other people. Wow. And can you do that cool road routine where you all have your arms around each other with your legs in the middle and you look kind of like a flower petal if you look from up above? No, we haven't learned that yet. We're still working at our routine. So what's the best move of your routine right now, Allie, when you're synchronized swimming in the pool with your 11 other teammates? What, what's the best routine that you guys can pull off already? 
Oh, well, that's probably the best one, then. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> it's the everything routine. It's the best and the worst. Uh, okay, so what is that routine? What do you do? Well, first we do backstroke four uh -huh. times, and then we do... And then we do back flutter, and then we do um, tug, <laughs> and then we turn. Thank you. And then we do a back tuck somersault. Ooh. And then we do, and then we come up, and then we do, and then we do back flutter again, and then we do dolphin, and then we <laughs> swim on our side, and then we do something that's called a pipe, which is where you put your legs up, and then we do a split, and then we come up, and we do, and we do three, um, and we do three, um, and we do three breast strokes, and then we swim to the side, and then we do fancy things with, and then we go up, and then we go back down to our side with our arms, and then we do a, some, something called a oyster. <laughs> That's like a train. There are so many, like so many uh, intervals in in that amazing long uh, uh, presentation. You just said, "How do you keep all that stuff straight?" And what happens if you accidentally do an oyster when everyone else is doing a dolphin? Is that like a bonus point, or is that embarrassing? It's embarrassing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's a lesson for everyone. When everyone else is doing dolphin, you do dolphin too. Don't do oyster. Wait, does dolphin mean that you fill your mouth full of water and then you stand up on your hind legs and you spit it out and you go and like hit your hands together? Is that what dolphin is? No. Oh, okay. It's when you it's when you lay on your back and you and you put your legs together. And he moves them up and down like, and you move, you move up and down like a dolphin's tail. Oh, I see. Well, uh, we've proven two things. I think we've proven that you are an excellent synchronized swimmer, and we've proven that I have no business being near any synchronized swimming team. Audience, put your paws together for Ellie in North Carolina. She's a synchronized swimmer. You can't make this stuff up. Audience, a round of applause, please, for Ellie in North Carolina. Oh, wait, they, they can't. They're too busy making all the orchestrations with their hands. Ellie, thanks for calling. See you later, buddy.